What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna test this Derringer out. Yep, you guys see here we got Pops, his 2020 Duramax. And Pops, you know, he's uh, he's getting a little excited about all this bank stuff that Banks keeps uh, coming out with. So uh, he's just just hooking this thing up, fully loaded, banks, 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 everything. He wants the banks there, or the banks, the, the Derringer. He wants the uh, the pedal monster. Uh, he's got the eye dash. Now he got spoiled and he wants to change the, the, the pillar and do the dual. So he's getting spoiled with all this bank stuff. So uh, now we're going to install the Derringer, guys. But before we do install that Derringer, first let's start this thing up. But I want to test something real quick here um, on this. <laughs> And what I want to test on this thing is I want to go drive it before we install the Derringer. And I want to look at the manifold air density on the iDash. So say it you know goes to 300. Well, when we install that Derringer, this should go to you know 320, 350. It should be higher. So I'm going to do a before and after test real quick uh, before we install the Derringer. So let's go start that real quick and uh, go from there. Okay guys, we got um, everything up, what I wanna see. I made another page for them. So I'm gonna see fuel rail pressure, uh, commanded fuel rail, rail, the load, lift pump pressure, and right here, the main number, the big boy, that MAD percentage. So we're gonna back out of the driveway. And look at that, Pedal Monster knows we are in reverse. It's kicked on reverse mode, so I don't go flying into a car or something. And we're gonna come around a turn, we're going to punch it, and remember there is no Derringer installed yet. So we're gonna do a before and after, and let you guys know, you know, uh, it's, if it's making any more power or not. Okay guys, truck is also at operating temperature. It is 86 degrees currently outside, so we wanna make sure it's all the same thing. Okay, we're gonna come around this turn. I'm gonna put the camera right here for you guys. We're gonna do a zero to an 80 mile an hour run and see, uh, oh, see what happens. Foot is all the way in it. Holy crap! 60. Damn, there's 80 miles an hour. I gotta say, boy, this, these, these, uh, these Duramaxes and like these Fords, these V8s, they are fast. Like when you get on them, these things get up and go. The Ram is sort of like, yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Let me, let me finish my coffee, my cigar, and then I'll give you a little power later on in the gears. <laughs> but I gotta say guys, uh, this, this truck hauls butt. Okay, here's a Derringer, first look. Uh, you know, I mean, Banks always packages stuff so nice. So, we got the Derringer there. We got, I'm sure, all the connectors. Bam, down here. Uh, I've never installed one of these guys, so this will be my first time. So, um, well, hopefully there's some directions. Okay, looks pretty easy. So I'm guessing that goes to the Derringer. This looks like it's going to intercept I would assume somewhere under this hood. Okay, well, let's get started. All right, bam, guys, and just like that, Derringer is installed. Uh, it's pretty dang easy. You just pretty much, and it says it in the directions. On There's a uh, video on it. It's really easy, but um, you're intercepting the map and the fuel roll pressure sensor and plug-in uh, banks is in, and then I just ran the wire uh, down to the firewall, set the uh, Derringer here, ran the line in there, that's about it. I mean, it's it's literally two plugs, plug into the Derringer, plug in to your Pedal Monster or iDash, uh, whichever one you have, and you're good to go. So now let's go start the truck up, do the same run, see what that MAD uh, percentage is, but let's go set it up on the iDash first. And then also we're gonna get Pops out here and get his uh, opinion on this. Okay, well, check it out, guys. So, uh, well, it's kind of my fault. Dumb for me, I could've just left it on the stock now, I didn't realize this Derringer has level, or you got stock level two, three, four, five, and six. Holy moly. Okay, well, so we're going to go do a stock run. Then we're going to go to number six and just hammer it and see what happens. Okay, so we are in the stock mode. Now, I'm going to switch it over here to, we're just going to go to level six. See that, level six. Now I'm gonna to switch to page two so I can see the, there it is right there. So now we're gonna see the manifold air density. So we're level six and we are on stage six, or, le, or I messed that one all up. Power level six and we're gonna monitor the MAD. So here we go. Same run, same turn, zero to 80. Right there. Oh, ba 
baby, this thing scoots. All right, well, I'm gonna go do one more run for you guys. We got no check engine lights, everything is good. Truck is, man, very responsive. So let's go do one more and see uh, what we got. Got it set to the MAD. guys that's that's impressive I mean I don't know if you saw those numbers but at the corner of my eye it almost got to 300 compared to I think the last one was 257 so that's how you know that this thing made a difference a derringer made a difference but now we're gonna go get pops real quick and get his opinion and see what he thinks since he hasn't even driven it yet okay guys pops is in the Duramax now and so now uh, you see there your reverse option oh yeah reverse mode good yeah you got your reverse mode back uh, you got the Derringer in there, so you're on, I don't know what level you're on. You're on stock right now, so you see yep. the so bottom. Stock at the bottom. Gotcha. Yeah. So but it's still stock with the Pedal Monster. Yeah, the Pedal Monster is just. Right, right. So you know, I didn't touch your Pedal Monster. That's whatever setting you have. Let's see. Oh, and yeah. I made some custom pages for you on there, but we can change it. Yeah, Pedal Monster is still active. I like that Pedal Monster. Now, you guys already saw. Wait a How many. How come there's still only two cables here? Because the Derringer plugs into the Pedal Monster down below. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. But all, all three items are. Yeah, so you got everything. I dash, Pedal Monster, so Derringer. What am I doing so I, I mean, I just I was going right. So it's up to you if you want to go right or left. Whoa. That's stock. Damn this. Oh, all right. Right sun here. Yeah. Sun wasn't that bad. That Pedal Monster makes all the difference. Let me tell you. Yeah, but you got no no tune or anything on it right now. Don't need it to. Look at this thing. Oh gosh. There we go. All right. Okay, guys. So that was a stock pull, right there. That was barely a stock pull. I wasn't on the gas. Oh, okay. To switch the levels, what it's just the arrow. All you do is which, push those arrows up. Which arrow? The up arrows left on the left. Right left. See so real estate level two, three, four. You go. You got all the way to six. So let's do three. Okay. So what did that actually just do right now? gives you some more ponies I'll, i don't know the horsepower ratings yet i gotta no, i'm gonna no, get you all the the horsepower ratings definitely more pull that's for sure yeah holy moly see and it showed there the power level wow but that wasn't is that full throttle no that was not full because it didn't yeah it didn't show that you're full throttle so what is the boost i'm looking at pound, pound? that's your your turbo yeah that's all it was? Because there was no load or what? I didn't see it. What was it? it didn't go very high, like 10 pounds. Oh, yeah, Duramax. We're gonna go. You go to six? Six. Let's okay. see six here. Whoa. <laughs> well, level six is 3,000 RPMs. Stays 40 pounds of boost. Yeah, that was, of yeah that was like 38 pounds, pounds of, boost. Pounds of boost. Wow, that was fast. Well, guys. if you want a little uh, zero to 60 sprint car, yeah, these things they book it. Holy moly! So, guys, uh, a lot of you asked me, you know, what's the best tune for this truck? You know, if you want to keep everything intact, all the emissions, this truck still has emissions intact. There's He's touched nothing. The only thing he has done to this truck is the Pedal Monster, the iDash, and now the Derringer. That's it. Still has all the exhaust uh, equipment. Still has uh, def. You know, still takes all that stuff. So if you want to keep your warranty and not have to worry about that, go get the Derringer. This thing pulls hard, guys. Go guys, get, let me tell go you. Get the, the Derringer. This thing's awesome. Oh. <laughs> This thing, this thing pulls pretty dang good, I gotta say. Man, so do we know about how many horsepower or torque I've I, I, I'll, I'll stepped, find up, out. stepped up to? I'm not sure. Is, I don't think you want a trailer back there with that thing yeah, on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but I'll find out, guys, for you uh, before I end the video, the horsepower and torque numbers. It's, um, uh, it pulls a lot more than the Escalade, which is, what, 475 horse? And the Escalade that I've got. Yeah, but that thing's got no torque. But it's still, I mean, it, it's 
that was a fast SUV for a heavy SUV. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna outpull this thing. No, no, I'm telling you, this is gonna outpull it day, yeah. day and night. Oh, that was level six, guys. That's a yeah, that was level six. Well, some pretty ponies there. Okay, now we're reversing back down the driveway because Pops wants to try it in tow haul mode. So it goes in the first, but why don't you just, you can put it in regular, you know, drive mode and manually put it in first. I forget the shift. Oh, okay. So, just, All right, well, we're in tow see. haul, so now it's in first. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. it's got a lot, it's so low. The tow, yeah. What the heck is that? Wow. Scary, look at that, it feels wow. like it's in four low. Yeah, it does feel like it's in four low. Whoa. Oh, man. So now we're in third, I'll try to see if, uh, let me see. Does it take it to first though, as long as you keep it in tow hall mode? Oh yeah, it always starts in first now, so you can drop it down. Well, it's in third. There, okay, Jesus. now I'll just put it in first for you guys. Jesus. That shifts so fast out of first. <laughs> This thing scoots, guys. If you got a Duramax or an L5P, I'd go get you a Derringer. This thing is awesome. Yeah. If you got a Cummings, stay away from a Duramax. <laughs> so I can't wait till I re-gear my truck, guys. Uh, the only thing that comes these a new transmission. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna look at that. Uh, a lot of you guys sent me that, I, and I saw the Allison swap where it's like there's an adapter plate and. I can pull that ice in and put the Allison in it. Which, just anything. I just want to get something besides the ice and transmission. Something that doesn't go clunk clunk. Yeah, I got an aircraft carrier. You got an anchor. And a lot of you guys that has me contact Firepunk, um, contact DRD. I contacted all of them guys. They they said there's nothing to pretty much fix on that thing. You're going to have you know the defueling or whatever you guys want to call it problem with that transmission that's just the nature of that transmission as of right now there is no 100 percent tune out there should have put in the stock tune for him electric mike is driving it we'll see we'll get his reaction once he uh gets back all right guys we got electric mike rolling back up here what's yeah, it's faster for sure. huh yeah, it's, way faster. it's way faster huh stock slow as shit. huh stock so much slower the stock's not slower stock is just stock. It's way slow. I mean, the, so yeah, no, it was a full second difference. Zero to 60. Zero. He's a zero to 60 timer, guys. Okay. Well, that's good. So I know I promised you at the end of the video horsepower and torque numbers. So it says here that it adds up to 81 horsepower and 140 foot, 144 foot pounds of torque. And it shows you a little graph here. Uh, 396, 472, and stock 827, 930. So this must be to the rear uh, rear wheels, not to the crank, because I know stock, I think it's 9, 10 on the L5P. Uh, so it might be to the rear uh, wheels. That's your horsepower. But I will say, uh, this truck hauled butt, guys. It this, this Derringer makes a huge, huge difference. And the information that this iDash uh, tells you is incredible. I mean, it is insane how many options and how many PIDs you can watch with this iDash. I mean, it's that is awesome. That right there is the safest tune for your truck with the emissions intact on there. You don't have to remove anything. You just add the Derringer and you're good to go. But that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions, you can DM me at my Instagram at Eddie's Life or comment down below. I'll try to answer them for you. But if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't want to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.